Hey bakers, today I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate cake. <laughs> chocolate cake in a mug. This is homemade cake from scratch, but it only needs 90 seconds in the microwave to cook and like a minute of prep time. So you can have a very dangerous anytime treat. Whenever like the fancy strikes you with a few ingredients you probably have already in your pantry. Full warning, this is not calorie free and it's very easy to make. Let's get started. First off, we're gonna be adding in one quarter cup of flour, make sure to lighten it up before you measure it, plus a tablespoon, so there you go. Quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter cup of sugar, just under a quarter teaspoon of salt, so like a healthy pinch, and now two tablespoons of cocoa powder, so use a nice cocoa powder if you can. This is Valrona and it's super rich. <laughs> cocoa powder is really fatty, no sugar, but lots of fat in there, even though it's a powder. So you have a lot of clumps happening. Make sure you sift the ingredients out for best results. See, look at that, clump, clump, clump. Okay, give this a nice whisk just to combine the ingredients. And now the wet ingredients, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one tablespoon of coffee. This is from a mocha pot, so it's really strong. If you don't want to use coffee though, go ahead and use water or milk, the coffee really adds a little bit of extra oomph to the chocolate. You're not gonna taste coffee, really, trust me on this. Last but not least, one quarter cup of whole milk. Okay, let's whisk to combine. And now it's combined, but I'm gonna whisk it for a little bit longer. When you're doing this, you're activating the gluten in the flour, and while you don't want too much of that because it makes it bready and tough, that's not gonna happen with this cake first of all, but it also needs to have that gluten to create structure so the cake will, you know, hold itself up. So let's whisk our little hearts out. Okay, that's good. We have a nice silky chocolate batter. Plop all this batter into our mug. This is ready to plop into the microwave, but for a little bit of extra indulgence, let's chop up some nice dark chocolate and a sprinkle it on top. It'll be totally worth the extra effort, trust me. I have three squares or 15 grams of a really nice high quality 75. Three squares or 15 grams of a high quality 70% cocoa uh, dark chocolate. This is from Schaffrenberger. I don't know how to say it, but it's nice. And I'm gonna give it a rough chop. There we go. Pick that up and then just sprinkle it on the top of your cake. This is done, so right now we're just gonna plop this into our microwave for, hmm, depends. <laughs> depends on how powerful your microwave is. For me, this will be about 85 to 90 seconds. <laughs> you can take it out after like 80 seconds and see if it needs a little bit more time. Little 10 second intervals will do ya, and that's it. I happen to have one built into the island. <laughs> so, let's plop that in there, close it, giving it a full 90 seconds and go. Out of the microwave, ready to eat. Mmm, it smells delicious, like chocolate cake. You wanna see, it's not, I'm gonna warn you, it's not the most beautiful cake you've ever seen in your life. Doesn't look gorgeous, but this tastes delicious. This is the most fun recipe testing I've ever done because it only cooks for like 90 seconds and then you're like, oh, right? A little bit more chocolate, a little bit more salt, add some coffee, maybe some whatever, done. Let me tell you, the end result, worth the wait. So, spoon a little bit out there. Do you see this? The texture like melts in your mouth. It's like a case that's saying, oh, hey brownie, we're cousins. Did you know that? That's what it's like. <laughs> And it would be perfect with a little bit of ice cream if you're asking my humble opinion. Mmm. Yeah. I hope you get to make this recipe. Do you want me to make more of these like super easy desserts? Or do you like the ultra fancy stuff? Let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you and getting feedback. So thanks for watching. Hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos. If you don't, I'm sorry. On to the next one. All right, bye-bye.